Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the What Happened channel. Today, we're going to dive into a chilling, gripping, sensationalized horror tale set in a cursed village called Darktown. Get ready for a story full of mysteries, scares and twists, as we unravel the dark secrets that terrified its inhabitants. Grab your favorite drink, turn off the lights and get ready to hear the gruesome story of the Dark Village. It was a rainy night in Shady Town, a small town in the middle of a dense forest. The streets were practically deserted, and the only light that illuminated the darkness was that of lightning that ripped the sky. That night, a strange figure arrived in the city, seeking shelter from the incessant rain. The figure was a tall, thin man, dressed in a black cape that covered his entire body and a wide-brimmed hat that hid his face. He arrived at the town inn, which was attended to by an elderly couple, and asked for a room for the night. The old lady, suspicious, asked him where he came from and what he was doing in that remote town. The man just replied, I'm a traveler looking for refuge, ma'am. Don't worry about me, I just need a place to rest. The old lady, still hesitant, agreed to give him a room. That night, the residents of the dark village had nightmares. They dreamed of a dark and frightening place where horrible creatures chased them and a river of blood flowed endlessly. They woke up terrified, with their hearts pounding and cold sweat on their foreheads. The next day, the rain stopped and the sun shone faintly behind the dark clouds. The mysterious man came out of his room and, without saying a word, paid his stay and left. The old lady, intrigued, decided to go into the stranger's room to tidy it up and discover something terrible, a suitcase full of strange objects, such as ancient amulets and black magic books. Residents of Shadowville began talking about the strange visitor and his suspicious actions. Meanwhile, one by one, they mysteriously disappeared, and no one could find their bodies. The entire city was in a panic, and rumors that a curse had fallen on them quickly spread. On a cold and rainy night, a group of brave villagers decided to face the mysterious man and discover the truth about the disappearances. They followed his footprints into the forest, which led them to a hidden cave, filled with burning candles and ominous symbols drawn on the walls. In the center of the cave, there was an altar made of human bones, and the mysterious man was there, dressed in a black robe reciting words in an unknown language. Around him, the bodies of the missing waited, mangled and bloodied, as if they were offerings in a macabre ritual. The residents, horrified, realized that they were facing a true evil cult, and the mysterious man was the leader responsible for it all. They armed themselves with torches and decided to put an end to the nightmare that was terrorizing the dark village. The mysterious man, realizing that he had been discovered, let out a devilish laugh and summoned a black mist that began to linger around the cave. The villagers, trying to keep up their courage, moved towards the man, who, with a terrifying scream, transformed into a grotesque creature, with intense wings and eyes as red as blood. The battle was fierce and cruel. The villagers fought back with all their might, but the creature seemed invincible. However, one of the villagers, a brave young man named Tomas, managed to find one of the ancient amulets that the mysterious man had brought with him. Tomas felt that the amulet had some kind of power and, in an act of desperation, he threw it at the creature. She let out a high-pitched scream and began to writhe in pain. Bright light emanated from the amulet, and the creature was sucked into it, as if it were a prison. The black mist disappeared and the bodies of the missing were slowly lowered to the cave floor. The villagers, exhausted and traumatized, returned to the dark village with the amulet and buried it deep in the forest, hoping that evil would never again haunt their lives. Over the years, the story of the terrible night in the cave has become an ancient legend, and the inhabitants of Shadowtown have sworn never to speak again of the horrors they witnessed. However, on dark nights, when lightning strikes the darkness, whispers of the mysterious man and his evil cult still echo through the city streets, serving as a grim reminder of the evil that once plagued the dark village. And so ends our dark tale of terror and suspense in the dark village. I hope you enjoyed this engaging story and that you felt chills run down your spine. Thank you for following another video from the What Happened channel. If you enjoyed the story, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more horror stories like this one. See you next time, and remember, when night falls and shadows grow, heed the whispers that lurk in the darkness.
Good night.